Last week on Droids. And Diadems. It was Droid Talent Week. Our competitors brought their A game to the table. We saw animal impersonations, dance moves for the club, cookie baking abilities, but no matter how talented the droids were, none of them were able to lay a Han on Rolly's lead. However, this week, we are bringing in the personality assessment where the droids will answer questions custom tailored to them by our judges. And um, I'm hoping this week, unlike Han, your score won't be so low. <laughs> Thanks, I came up with it myself. Welcome to Droids and Diadems. Play the theme song. My name is Matt, and I have two degrees. We have reached the fourth and final round of competition, and this week we are assessing the droids' personalities. We're in the final stretch here, and at this point it is almost any droids game. Right now, leading the droid pack, we have RO11 all the way from Australia with a total score of 78.8. But don't start polishing that diadem just yet, because rolling in right behind you all the way from the United States of America, we have BB14 with a current score of... 74.7 and currently in third place R210 that's right you own that 53.1 but now without any further ado I think it's high time we kick off our personality assessments starting with Roly, who has a very special question from Rylan RO11 my question for you is if R2D2 had C3PO and BB-8 had Poe, and BD-1 had Cal Kestis. What do you search for in a friendship, and what do you have to give back? An R11 has to kill a mockingbird. Thank you, Alan, what a wonderful question. Well, I think Rolly and I can both agree that true friendship should consist of... Well, if that's not hashtag friendship goals, I don't know what is. Let's hear what the judges had to say. RO11, week after week, you are showing us that you are a fierce competitor in this pageant. I really loved what you had to say. I thought it was articulate, well thought out, and I know this is a very controversial stance to take, but I totally agree that beep boop is important. That answer may be the best answer I've ever heard upon describing what friendship means to you and what it should mean to others. I think those are words that I'm going to live by until, you know, I swear an oath to the Empire to keep myself alive. I might just ditch that completely, you know. But for such a vulnerable answer and for letting me see a bit more of you, 9.5. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I think that uh, in order to make this last episode a little bit more uh, dramatic, instead of using paper to hold up, I'm going to use my fingers, because it'll be a little bit more dramatic that way. Let's start with Roly. Now, Roly, uh, I do enjoy your answer to the question. It was fantastic. It's everything I was thinking, and you did not forget the importance of beep boop, which is really, really uh a fantastic thing that we're looking for in uh, in our winning droid. So for that reason, I have given you eight and a half. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you, judges. So that means Roly's total score on this competition is 26, bringing his grand score up to 104.8. It's going to be a tough score to beat, but I think BB14 is up to the challenge, answering a question from Alex. 
This question is for BB14. Climate change is an issue that affects Earth, outer space, and beyond. As you know, the polar ice caps of Hoth are melting at an alarming rate. As the next winner of the Droids and Diadems pageant, what steps would you take to lower your intergalactic carbon footprint? I think it was beautiful too. Judges, what say you? BB14, this is such a good answer because it shows that you've got a plan and that you're ready to put it into action with the fame and the title that would come if you won Droids and Diadems Season 1. A vote for BB14 is a vote to keep it clean. 9.5. BB14. Although your answer was a little bit longer than I would have appreciated, every word of it was fantastic and true. Uh, I wonder, uh, I'm not familiar with the laws uh, from, where, from where you are, but I wonder uh, what it would take for a droid to become president. Anyhow, for that reason, I've given you a... BB14, I was very excited to be able to ask you this question and your answer did not disappoint. I think your ideas to combat climate change are inspirational and I am so proud of the progression that you have made in this competition. You get a nine this week. Thank you judges. So that brings BB14's total score up to 102.2. Ooh, it's a tight race. All right, and coming up last, but certainly not least, with a very special question from Craig McGuire. I don't know. I don't know why he drew your name out of the hat. Let's hear Craig's question for R two one zero. All right, R two one zero. I got a question for you. This is your chance to redeem yourself, so listen closely. Given the pandemic that is taking over the world at this point. And the, uh, and the people that are refusing to wear masks to flatten the curve, as well as the current political climate, uh, not only in America, but uh, North America, the rest of the world, it's a, it's a big snowball effect. It's starting small and it's going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The denial of climate change, all of these things. This is a very big question for you. What is your favorite color? No, I think I think you answered as well as you could have. Just in the words of Admiral Akbar, I think it's a trap. Okay. Okay, judges, lay it on us. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, R210. When I first heard my colleague's question, I was very concerned as to what your answer was going to be. This is one of the most difficult questions that can be asked of a contestant in a pageant. And so I just have one thing to say. That is how you answer a question. R210, I am so proud. I am so happy. I am thrilled at your answer. This is exactly the type of thing that I wanted to hear 
This is exactly what I'm looking for in this competition. And I know that I may not be as frank as a certain colleague of mine, but I am very critical. I look at things with a very critical eye and some people might say that I am hard, but it is only because I care. And so I never do this, but I feel like I have no choice this week. Tens, tens, tens across the board. R210, I am so proud of you. You get a perfect score this week. Thank you. Blue, I know. And my favorite color is green. So together we kind of make up like the two primary Jedi lightsaber colors. <gasps> 10. R210. I mean, <laughs> the question was uh, fed perfectly to you. It kind of lobbed you an easy one and you gave us everything that we were looking for. You gave us truth, and you gave us uh, concisement, and you also uh, gave us love, and that is the main thing that we're looking for here in this competition. Uh, so for that reason, I don't know, I kinda want you to slow down a little bit. Oh, would you look at that, there's your score, a 10. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to announce that R210 has just scored the first perfect score in Droids and Diadem's history! <laughs> oh buddy, I'm so proud of you! I'm so proud of you! I'm so proud of you! No! No, of course not. You don't stand a snowflake's chance on Mustafar of winning this competition, but you got a perfect score! I love you so much! I'm so happy! Alright folks, there you have it. Currently in first place with a grand score of 104.8 we have Roly. In second place with 102.2 we have BB14. And currently in third place our very own Cinderella story with a grand score of 83.1 we have R210. But ladies and gentlemen, this is where those bonus points really come into play. The polls will remain open through to Friday, June 5th. Get those votes in. The droid who gets the most votes for this competition will get an additional three bonus points added to their final score. But remember, you can still vote on all three of the previous competitions, so it is still almost any droid's game. Get those votes in, ladies and gentlemen, and don't forget to tune in next week to see which droid will take home the coveted droid diadem. My name is Matt. This is R210. I have two degrees. Thank you.